Hello everyone, today I will show you how you can get the latest version of Waffle Offline working on your 32 bit machine. I may have showed you guys this before, but I'll show you all again because some of you may be new. So I'll go into my system about app. You can see this the computer I'm recording on right now is running Windows 8.1 with Bing, obviously. And two gigs of RAM is installed on it right now. And the operating system is 32 bit with an x64 based processor. And guys, I believe the reason why it does that because of the 32 bit UEFI. So, yeah, today I'll show you how you can get the latest version of Wapper Offline working on these older hardwares. So, what you're gonna have to do is go to GitHub. Dot com. And then you're going to search for Wapper Offline. Your search bar may be over here because you're not logged in, but if you logged in, your search bar will be, will be over here. So make sure you're logged in. So yeah, just hop on to Wapper Offline. Press enter. And then you're gonna click on Wrapper Offline over here. And then you'll go over to Oasis. Just click over here. And then plus, and then no, and then click on tags. And then click over here, the bottom one here, view.2.3. What that includes is the installer for the ungoogled Chromium Flash, which is what we will need for this walk around. And then we're going to replace the Luisa slash tag with tree. What I would do is get us into the older repo. So there you go, we're inside 1.2.3 now, the version obviously. And then we're going to go to the utilities folder. Then the installers folder. And then we're going to click on Flash Windows Chromium MSI. And then we'll click on the style button here. Click on it and it will download. A warning message will pop up, so just click on keep. And then you're going to click on the file here. Now for me, it says I will install Flash. This will pop up over here, but for you, We'll just say install here, I believe. Yeah, I believe that's what I would say. But since I only have it installed, I don't have to do that. Next, you're going to install the latest version of node.js. To do that, we'll go to node.js.org. And then right here is this version 119.0.0. This is the version we want to install. And guys, I find it's very weird because I'm on a 32 bit machine and it's been things I'm on 64 bits. Well, to fix that, go over the download here and then click on the 32 bits. Over here, go to code over here, and then click on 32 bits. And then it will download for a 2-bit file. It will say x86, but it's fast for 32 bit machines. Click on a file once again. And from here, you're going to follow what this thing tells you. But since I already have node.js installed, I do not install node.js. Just follow what this thing says here. Wait for everything to complete. And then 
What's my next button's not great, I'll click on that and then do what it tells you to do. But I'm gonna cancel it because I already installed Node.js. And then, because version 2.1.0 is in beta, we're going to once again go to the releases tab, click, click this one over here. Yeah, the reason why I'm doing this is so you can work out a version you want to install. Once again, this is going to be the same process. But 2.0.0, you want to click this over here, source code, and then set file. Let's wait for it to download. Version 1.3.0 also has the same process. So you can so you just click on this over here, it will start downloading. We're not going to worry about that right now. So, yeah, no need to basically download the file. Now I'm wrap off line 2.0.0 is downloaded. We're not going to open it from here this time because it we'll just freeze up File Explorer. Instead, we're going to open File Explorer first. And then we're going to go to our downloads. Now from here, we're going to look for wrap off line. It should be over here somewhere. Yes, there you go. And then click extract, extract all, and then click extract. This is I already have wrap off when I downloaded. I do not need to I do not need to extract it. So I'm just gonna do the folder to free up space. My my wrap offline is in the users folder. My username folder and there you go, there it is over here. And then you're gonna go to your command plot once. You wrap off line and start extracting. And then you would do CD downloads. And then CD wrapper offline. Now I believe it's 2.0.0. Let me check my downloads list. Yeah, so good CD wrapper offline 2.0.0 two times like so wrapper offline 2.0.0 over here. See? And then you're gonna do it twice. You're gonna CD this twice. Or maybe not, maybe you don't have to. Yeah, yeah, you do. So, do this twice. And then, after you see that, you'll go do npm install. Let me show you how it's done. Um, I'll have a file over here. And do, wait, okay. I'm to scratch, so 
yours probably is with a minus slash. And then do npm install. Once you click enter, it will start installing all the packages. If there's an error, just report it to me in the comments below. Or on Discord. Discord might be even better. And you, you have to send me a picture of the error, a screenshot. Alright guys, I have to stay quick the key, so let me just close out my prompt and we open it again. Then when you do npm start, it will start initializing news, like, it will say this and then after that it will say database is not cleared, queen. And then it will say, wow, well, I'm finally started. That's, that's how it goes. And... Yeah, after that, it will just open up a new window. Of all things. So there you go, wow, I'm finally opened. Mine says RPC connection failed because I actually enabled Discord RPC on my profile before. And right here's my videos. You, you won't get this because you haven't created any videos, but if you want to import your videos, then. Yeah, I don't quite know. Because I kind of did this my way, so I quite do not know how you guys would do it. So, yeah. And when you go to the video, you will know it cannot work plugin. Well, this is where our installed Chromium Flash comes in. What you would do is you would go into your Windows folder. And then your System32 folder. Obviously, you're not going to do your System32, so we're using this in this tutorial. Go to this folder, my Chrome, it should appear after you install Flash, Uncluded Chromium Flash. If that did not appear, that may mean that you did not install Chromium Flash. Yeah, this, click on this folder, and after that, click Flash. And then go copy all of these files. I will use the CTLC or right click it, click and copy. For me, I, I prefer to use CTLC. And then, after you copy those files, it will go to your wrap offline folder. Well, your wrap offline 2.0.0 says you guys have downloaded the file, the zip file. You extracted it, and now you have a folder. And then, go to extensions, delete the current. Pepper Flash Player dot file we have you have yeah like that so select the file and then you're gonna delete the file by either using right click and delete ctl plus d or shift plus delete if you use shift plus delete it will probably delete the file that's basically what you want so shift delete is. Besides, it shouldn't affect anything because, yeah, if you notice, those files disappear. Don't let that confuse you because both things are always selected. There you go, your pepper flash, put it on do files to read it. After that, you're going to have to use right click to paste it or, yeah, or CTL plus V to paste the files in. After that, you're going to rename this file to pepperflashplayer.do that'll be our new replacement there you go out of that rename you're going to start wrap offline again you don't need to do npm install again since you only install packages so you're just going to do npm start And wrap off on starting now, and there you go. Wrap off one should be starting now.
be able to wipe it offline. And then you go on make a video. Again, just like how you would get into the LVM. You know what I mean. And there you go. Your Adobe Flash player should start working now. So there you go. You have a full funnel. Wrap off on 2.0.0. All outdated and all the hardware. So that's it, guys. Play to bit hardware. Wrap off on working on it. And all that stuff. So there you go, guys. You have a fully functioning LVM clone inside a wrapper with a 32 bit machine. So, more proof that I'm not faking this, but you just go to the system again. And you will see when you just exit full screen, you can see Wap All Friends working with this 32 bit operating system and Wap All Friends. So, there you go, guys. That's it. If you like this video today, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more content like this. And also make sure you subscribe for more great anime videos too. Yes, I recently just created a casted Velma character that was Trunchbull, so I may most likely be creating grounded videos out of these five characters in my YouTube channel. So yeah, make sure you stay tuned for those and I will see you all in the next video, uh, I might be, but I might be making a ground video on this transport. No, guys, it would not be a ground for nothing. It would be something completely original. Cause ground for nothing videos are getting quite old. All the anime animates. So yeah, once again, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.